N-N-diethyl M-toluamide is a powerful and common insect repellent invented by the U.S. Department of Agriculture in 1946. You probably know it as DEET. DEET repels mosquitoes, black flies, ticks, fleas, chiggers, and no I don't even know what that is. Here in the West, that means fewer itchy bites, but in places where malaria, West Nile virus, or Lyme disease run rampant, good insect repellent can mean the difference between life and death. DEET was blamed for several cases of encephalopathy in girls aged 1 to 8, some of whom died. Not surprisingly, the DEET scare turned into kind of a bit of a thing. what engineers do, they help and solve problems. We seek opportunity to technically rectify life problems to make our life easier and happier. To solve this uh, pro DET problem, we did some research on what substances that can replace DET to repel bugs. It took us about two months and finally we achieved a solution. We propose this project as to complete our course in German Malaysian Institute. The aim of our project is to construct, design and implement a process plan that produces a bug repellent lotion without using DEET and also to control and monitor the plant by using programmable logic controller, PLC and human machine interface HMI. The raw materials that uh, we use are eco-friendly and will not harm the users. These raw materials are distilled water, turmeric powder, cinnamon oil, lemongrass essential oil, emulsifying wax, glycerin oil and coconut oil. Constructing the plan requires a lot of planning and a very wise decision. Issues regarding the dimension and the design of the plan are majorly discussed among us. We had to collaborate to engineer ourselves to know the process sequence to make the plan stable. We grind we drill and we work the angle balls together to sustain the containers and tanks at the plant. The size of pipe that we choose is mostly one inch to speed up the flow rate of materials to tanks. With the right tools, we are able to construct it within the given time. It took us five months to construct this plan. We carefully construct it according to our dimension so that it will not impair our tanks that store our raw materials and also instruments that are needed to measure the process variables. Knowing what instrument to use is the key towards controlling the plant. We construct piping and instrumentation diagram also known as P and ID according to the process sequence. Three level switches are needed to be installed in tanks that will undergo heating process. These level switches indicate the presence of materials inside those tanks. Moreover, these level switches act as a safety purposes to avoid process of heating undergo when there is no material inside those tanks. Thus, will prevent those tanks being damaged. We seek suppliers from all over the country purchase their instrument that are suitable for our process plant. 
we contact them directly to acknowledge and ensure the details of the instrument including specifications, dimension, and also the price. After we obtain the items that we need, we carefully check them for any errors, and if so, we calibrate them using calibration equipment. This step must be done before installing them at the plant. Finally, after all the instruments are completely installed, we adjust the set point of each instrument according to our process parameters. Finding the right instrument is crucial so that it won't clash with the project specification and able to give input to PLC for control purposes. Programming is also a major part in controlling the plant. We use Siemens S7300 as our PLC to control the plant. As for our HMI, uh, we use uh, WinCC Comfort in TIA Porto Zeman. For bug wrap plant HMI, we have six icons for user convenience. The first one is about bug wrap. For this page, it will display to you about project objective, project specification, system layout, process control strategies, and others. Next is organization icon. For this page, it will display to you about our supervisor and group members. Next is procedure icon. For this page, it will display to you about the SOP or Standard Operating Procedure for our plant. For next features, CCTV icon. For this page, it will display to you about our CCTV point of view. Next, for HMI, we have two mode, automatic mode and manual mode. For this section, I will demonstrate to you through manual mode. Bear in mind that security and safety is our main concern. This is a reminder page. If you haven't read the SOP, click you have not read. It will direct you to our SOP page. If you have read our SOP, click I have read it. So for this manual mode, I will operate a certain instrument. I will operate heater coil manually. When changing heater coil condition to on, observe the boiler tank status will change from off to on. Next, I will on boiler pump and the boiler pump status will change to on. Basically, all process can be operated manually through HMI. Next is automatic mode. For this page, you can operate the process automatically. And that is engineering efficiency. What makes our program so different or unique than others is that we have three features. First, this plant is equipped with civilian camera. Not only we can monitor our processes from the live feed, but for security purpose.
Next, we install purging system. This allows us to flush out the residues within the pond. We have three signal flow diagrams that need to be controlled. Our heater coil, heater clamp, and temperature in the jacket tank. These three is our main objective. Without them, the sole purpose of our project will be futile. We face a lot of problems during our programming. Hence, we reach Zeman customer service to aid us. The medium that we use. One, appointments and training at Zeman HQ, which is located at Petaling Jaya. Number two, we utilize the use of media social, such as YouTube, Yahoo, Facebook and Twitter. Alhamdulillah, we receive positive feedbacks. Last but not least, manual mode. Manual mode enables us to manually run each stage of the processes. This is a tricky part because a programmer needs to tally with a technician. A single switch wrongly programmed will jeopardize our main circuit. I will explain about these uh, features for this TV panel. This TV panel has two features which is auto mode and manual mode. But before that, to make main supply go into this DB panel, you need to switch this main supply button. This red light will go green. Okay, next, for this auto mode features, start the auto mode by pressing this start auto push button. When the sequence is start and you want to stop the auto sequence, you can press this red stop auto button. I will explain about the manual panel. To use this manual panel features, we need to switch this button. And then we can go directly to our equipment, such as agitator. You can see here. Now, the agitator is in off condition. And when we select this button, it will go green. That's indicate that uh, the Agitator is in on condition. Same as uh, boiler pump. The purpose of this manual panel for this project is for maintenance and troubleshooting. As you can see here, we have included this emergency switch button in front of this DB panel. The purpose is when emergency happen, you can press here. The oil supply will turn off and the buzzer will trigger. Here is the circuit drawing for this project. Okay. From here, as you can see, for the first level is the arrangement of MCB and the LCB. Next, for the second level, is for the power contactor. This second level is purposely for main circuit. And the third level, below here, you can see numbers of relay for control circuit. The purpose of this control circuit is to energize the power contactor for the main circuit. At the lower side here, you can see numbers of terminal block purposely to connect the circuit inside here to the instrument at the field. 